Rob wasn't working alone. He had the Blackfish advising him. The Lannisters totally underrated him. Tywin is totally overrated as a war strategist. He, in fact, never really fought a war as big as the one he fought with Rob Stark. He sat out Robert's rebellion and did nothing. Otherwise, he's only fought against greatly outnumbered foes. Hello everyone, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. Jamie had big flaws and Rob had as his chief counselor, the Blackfish. Rob had supernatural help at one point from his direwolf. In fact, at the end of Game of Thrones, the odds are are stacked so high in Rob's favor that it pretty much takes divine interventions to make it not work out for him. The whole point about fighting battles when you are outnumbered by a larger force is to make sure you never fight the entire larger force at once. Rob was a master of this. As far less experienced than Tywin, Rob was naturally gifted in tactics and usually enjoyed the terrain advantage. Tywin was a better strategist, which explains why the North didn't win in the end, Tywin attacked Rob where he was weak, politically. That's why he had a greater force and why he was able to convince some Northerners to betray Rob. He was a good tactician. It also helped he had 20,000 Northerners. That means two things. One he is using Northerners, who are really tough. They also have combat experience from Roberts and the Greyjoy rebellions. Two, that number does not include the Tully forces. That was another approximately 10,000 men who were fighting on home ground. So he had his own set of advantages. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.